Today on XDA TV, I'm reviewing an application that allows your phone to become a spy camera. Let's check it out. The app was originally featured on the XDA portal by Joe. It's referencing an app designed and developed by XDA senior member Jim Mod. It goes through and explains a little bit about what the application has as far as some of the main features here. And again, uh, the main reason that the application was put together is, uh, I guess, Jim Mod was looking for a decent spy camera and couldn't find one. So he went ahead and developed it and made it open source so anybody can contribute to it. It goes through and again, um, Joe gives you an explanation about you know what the application, some of the main benefits of it. Uh, Again, there's a small disclaimer. If you're in a country or a state that does not allow you taking pictures of, of other people without their knowledge, please make sure not to download this application. If we open the thread, we'll go through. He gives us a little snapshot, uh, again, explaining to us why the application was put together. It is available in the Google Play Store. Currently, it's in um, available for everybody as long as you and it's free uh, so that's one of the main benefits it gives us an explanation about some of the features that are on there what he's trying to put on uh, for the future test it on which phones we'll go ahead and open up the google play store it gives us a small explanation again landing on 185 kilobytes and it's free and it was updated as of january 18. let's check it out on the phone we'll go ahead and open up the application on the google play store look for spy camera op open source i guess that's what the os is for and then um, again, it comes in at 185 kilobytes. So we'll go ahead and open it up. It's a floating application. So by default, once you turn it on, it automatically comes in front of your uh, phone. It has the automatic settings at the bottom. You have the ability of going bigger or smaller on the, the preview screen. I chose to keep it at a medium size. You have, let's go ahead real quick into the settings. Gives you the option as far as the info for the camera, hiding the picture folder once it's saved. There's a little more options here for setting up custom options for volume up, volume down. We go further down. We have uh, the camera settings, front and back, auto focusing, the capture image configuration for images and for video, uh, information about donating uh, to the Google developer, sending feedback, sharing the application, as well as the version of the application. We'll go ahead and go back. Now, obviously, I, I can't do too much of the back facing camera here, but I'll, we'll go ahead and work with the front facing. You can see it tries to auto focus to, uh, to the object in front of it. Uh, you have the auto capturing, which does an automatic picture capturing every, depending on the delay, I have it set to two seconds. You have a capture, which automatically does that. Face detection is that feature. You turn it on, and as soon as the face is in front of the camera, be it front or back, it'll do that. It'll take a picture for you. Video, I've had a little bit of problems with it. I was able to initiate it to take a video with the front camera, but the video came back and it was jarbled. When I tried taking video with the back camera, this application froze, and a lot of people on the Google Play Store are saying the same thing. And then the black screen, obviously, if you want to turn it on. Switching just basically switches between uh, the, the front and back camera. Again, it's black because it's on the table. We'll switch back. You know, overall, the application does what it's meant to do. But uh, again, keep in mind that it's being updated and it's an open source. So if you'd like to contribute to the application, please go ahead and contact the developer. The application does exactly what it's intended to do. It works as far as taking pictures and taking videos. I did have some problems with the application when I started taking videos in the front facing camera. The video came out a little bit jarbled, so I think it's just a driver issue or maybe the next update will fix that. Now the back camera actually force closed the application and then oddly I couldn't even start the camera afterwards even by just pressing the camera button. It required me to restart my phone. So again, definitely a work in progress. A lot of people on the Google Play Store actually mentioned that the last update kind of messed up some things, but it does work and it does what it's meant to be. Be mindful of the laws of the land where you are. If you're in a place where it's not allowed for you to take videos of people or pictures of people without their knowledge, please don't do so. Other than that, um, just keep in mind this is one of the main reasons why XDA is so great. If you, you know, if a member or an XDA senior member uh, can't find what they want, they just make it and they'll make it open source. And then it, they want the community to support them and help them. Um, hope you guys like this application. Download. Let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. I will see you guys next week.